Hey guys! Today I'm going to be diving into my fabric stash to try and use some of the fabrics that I've had hoarded away forever. Uh, Joann's was having their $1 pattern sale and I picked up this pattern, the Simplicity um, 8263, in the hopes that I would be able to use this two yards of acrylic wool uh, that I've had just sitting around forever. So yeah, let's get to it. So I have this wool that I bought a long time ago and an upholstery fabric that I just bought too much of, as well as some leather scraps and just a buckle. I think I cut off a pair of shoes or something. And I'm gonna be combining them all into a fall capelet. I'm trying to use just fabric that I had already in my fabric stash. And this was one that I've had laying around for a while and just made me think of fall and was perfect for this project. Unfortunately though, I didn't have enough to match up the patterns on the fabric. Um, if I had just had maybe a half yard more, I would have been able to get a really nice pattern matching. So luckily for me, I had just enough of this green upholstery fabric left in my fabric bin and I was able after some trial and error to position it in a way where it was on grain and I just barely had enough to cut out the lining. Same with this structural fabric that I wanted to put in the front to kind of help it hold its shape. I ended up having some scraps left over from a project and it, again, it was just the perfect amount. So I tacked that to my front pieces on the wrong side and it's going to help hold the structure of the garment as well as help it hold its shape because this wool is a little bit of a loose weave and I'm afraid it might stretch out a little bit with wear. So the first step when it comes to sewing was sewing together where the arm openings were going to be. I made sure to mark on my cut pieces with little snips in the fabric the points that I was sewing in between and this made it really easy to make sure I was sewing in the right place. And then I just sewed on the facing and all of the front pieces were ready to be pressed so that I could sew them all together. The next thing I did was sew the seams together from the arm openings down. This can be a little bit tricky because the lining is already partially sewn in, but if you take your time, it's worth the result. Once all the seams are pressed and the arm opening is pressed, you can really start to see it come together. And this is when I started to get really excited. The colors work really well together and the pattern match isn't too terrible. Next, I top stitch the lining to the seam allowance of the arm opening. This will just help keep the lining from poking out to the front where it's visible. Then it was finally time to sew up the rest of the seams. When I was sewing the side seam, I chose to top stitch in some ribbon because this seam is partially cut on the bias, it'll stretch out over time. So I opted to put in something that wouldn't stretch to kind of help keep its structural integrity. Then I sewed the collar pieces together, which I interfaced with a lightweight interfacing ahead of time. Once I was done sewing them, I used my pinking shears to trim the edges. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really struggling to cut through all these layers. The acrylic wool is pretty thick and the interfacing adds a lot of bulk. I'm going to be putting my zipper foot on for this next part because I'm going to sew piping to where my facing and lining meet. I would have done this a little bit differently if I had thought of it ahead of time, but this wasn't a detail I decided to add until later. Because I'd already partially sewn in the lining before I decided to do this, it was pretty hard to actually get in there with the foot when it came to top stitching the lining down to the piping. It all worked out in the end, but if you wanted to do this to yours, I would suggest doing it ahead of time instead of waiting until one of the last steps. It adds a really nice touch to the inside. I actually got this idea from my favorite winter coat, which has a purple piping sewn in to where the lining meets the facing. Even though I wanted to only use items from my stash, I went ahead and bought this. It was only $2.50 and I think it added a lot to the final look of the capelet, so I'm happy that I did. I always have a lot of trouble sewing in collars. I honestly don't know if I'm doing it right. 
It ended up going on okay in the end, so I guess even if I'm not sewing it on the easiest way, I am sewing it on kind of the right way. There was a lot of bulk where I sewed the collar on. It was tricky to get through all those layers of fabric, but it had to be trimmed down quite a bit so that it wouldn't be too bulky. So now I'm getting into some of the finishing touches. The collar lining gets hand sewn down to the lining of the cape, followed by hand sewing in some small shoulder pads just to give it a little extra structure. Because this is going to be visible from the inside of the cape, I tried just to prick one or two threads of the back side of the fabric so that it wouldn't be too visible. It ended up being almost completely unnoticeable. Next, I let my cape hang for a day before I sewed the hem up. Anything that isn't cut perfectly on straight of grain will stretch out a little bit just from being worn and hanging in your closet. So this is really important to do even if you just want to skip right to it. As you can see, after about 24 hours, my lining did sag a little bit lower than my shell fabric. So I trimmed that before I sewed the two together. When sewing the hem, I moved my lining about a half inch lower than my main fabric. This way, when I turn it right side out and iron the lining, it will be a little bit shorter than the main fabric. This helps keep the lining from sagging below the hem and being visible. The final touch was making a little fastener from the leftover buckle and leather scraps that I had. I think it's a perfect way to make a closure for this cape because it adds to the fall vibe and sticks to my rule of only using things that I had in my stash. To be honest, I think I'm most excited about how well the inside came out. The facing came out really crisp and the piping adds a really fun touch. And there we go! I'm so happy with how this came out. I can't believe I had fabrics and notions that matched this well just hanging out in my fabric stash. Even the mismatch of the fabric pattern doesn't detract from the final look. And I really like the little leather buckle that I made for a fastener. If you have just two yards of fabric laying around, this would be a perfect project to use it on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.